It's currently at 1.5 million views as of this morning. That feels like a lifetime ago. That's so crazy. <laughs> A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh huh. Velociraptor. <laughs> like how you skipped over the one you couldn't read. Just a little haul of what I got from Sephora. Happy Super Bowl Sunday, you guys. For those of you who are interested in football. I am not. I don't understand the game. I, I don't get it. People have tried to explain it to me so many times, but I just don't get football. I know that there's yards, there's a goal, obviously a football. Um, hi. Someone kicks. Uh, every once in a while they reference a snap. That's about it. That's about as much as I know. Trevor's dancing off screen because he's excited for football. Really? What? <laughs> really? Well, I'm just standing you here. Yeah, stop as soon as I pan to you, huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. <sighs> Sorry, guys. <sighs> and he starts dancing again. They don't think I'm dancing. I'm just standing on the side here. I thought you had to go wear an errands. I just gotta find a shirt. You're wearing a shirt. <sighs> I have to run it, find like a ram shirt. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like you had to find a shirt before you ran errands. I'm I like, have no shirt, your shirt to wear for the love of God. Anyways, yeah, that is about my ceiling on football, but I'm getting it ready right now to go watch the Super Bowl at a friend's place. And we're leaving here in about like two hours or so, but I thought I'd get ready a little bit early. I want to record some TikToks now that I actually have followers on TikTok. So I'm just trying to do a light makeup look, not anything glam or anything like that. It's just like a casual hang to watch football. Really, I'm team snacks when it comes to Super Bowl Sunday. I love Super Bowl Sunday snacks, like wings, chips, beer, all of that good stuff. I'm here for it. But this year, the Super Bowl halftime show, that's gonna be lit. If you're a millennial, you know. Speaking of though, that TikTok that went viral during my last vlog, it's currently at 1.5 million views as of this morning, and I've gained in total a thousand followers. So this has just been like so insane, and I'm very, very happy about it. But okay, let me get my face in order. I saw on TikTok actually, there was like a way some girl did her makeup that I'm very interested in. If I could just find all of the correct tools for it so that's one but it was a way to do like light easy application for makeup so what you want to do is you want to dot your concealer wherever you want it to go then you go in with a bronzer liquid bronzer or contour color whatever you prefer and you're gonna dot on wherever you want that to go as well I forgot to put concealer on my chin. This is the Glossier Solar Paint, in case you were wondering. And then next, I'm gonna do blush. And then finally, a foundation. I'm gonna use a stick foundation. This is the Merit Complexion Stick. You're gonna dot in wherever you want foundation to like finish covering. I guess technically I could just like draw if I wanted to, but since I want it to be lighter, I'm gonna stick with dotting it. So you guys can see, I look weird. So why is the coloring off on this? This is so weird. And then you're gonna go in with setting spray. I'm using the Sephora Makeup Setting Spray. This one is really, really good. I need a refill really bad. But you wanna like douse your face in it. And then you're gonna go in and just start blending and what's nice about this is that it's just one layer of makeup You know, you're not layered with foundation then concealer then blush then bronzer and stuff like that It's just all one layer for just like a lighter application So you want to start with concealer because it's the lightest actually I'm remembering she used a brush. Maybe I should switch to a brush, but Screw it and now I'm gonna go in blend the foundation Respray if you need to, if stuff is drying out. And then now I'm gonna go into bronzer and blush. So I'm gonna start with blush here. I definitely could have gone in heavier on the bronzer. So I'm gonna add in a little bit more, but I do like this. I like how lightweight it is. Like I said, this way you don't like have caked on layers of makeup 
when that's not the vibe you're going for. Sometimes you know you are going for that vibe if you're going out and stuff. Like when I went wedding dress shopping yesterday for Michelle's wedding, we were filming, we were taking pictures and stuff. So I did heavier makeup then where I would definitely want to do each layer and kind of layer on all the products. But for like something more laid back, like just watching the Super Bowl at a friend's house, I like this. There's the face. I don't know why it looks patchy on camera. It's not patchy in real life. Not quite sure what's going on, but I'm gonna start powdering some of this down. Then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna lightly powder with my regular face powder. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked The Fix powder, and I get the color 60NN. And yes, the top of it is broken off. I'm also gonna touch up just a little bit more blush. Went in with a second color. So I want to combine these two better. I have to do this because blush is like the first thing to come off on me. So I usually go in kind of deep in the beginning. So there's my face. Like I said, it feels a lot more lightweight, so I'm a fan. But, okay, going into my brows. You guys, I think I figured out the Anastasia brow freeze, if I can find where the hell it went. So I just take like a light amount and I actually just brush my brows down first. I'm gonna look crazy for like a minute. I'm just gonna let it sit like that. Also, please don't mind the unmade bed behind me. I just haven't gone around to making it this morning. Though, I mean, if I'm being completely honest, it's like really hit or miss with me lately whether or not I'm gonna make the bed. I'm just in like one of those phases. But okay, now that it's sat here for a second, I'm gonna go ahead and brush it all upward. So I'm gonna brush it up and shape it. And so just to make this a lot quicker of a process, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Thick It Stick It Mascara and then I need a mirror or I'll just use this one. Let me use this to just kind of like beef up and color in my brows instead of going in with my brow pen. So there you guys can see, it's definitely a little bit deeper and a little bit more filled in. Oh. That's not what we want. Oh my gosh. No. But it doesn't give me as good definition as when I go in with a brow pen, but this is like a good, just kind of like quick alternative. There we go. Brows are done. For my eyes, I'm just trying to leave it very easy and lightweight. So I'm going to go in with the Sephora I Love palette, taking the peach color first, just going all over the lid. Then next, going in with this pinky shade, I'm just going to put that in the crease. Then going into this deep brown color and the pink, I'm gonna smoke out my lower lash line just to give it some definition. Wow, I look like I'm sick. <laughs> It'll come together, I promise. Oh, my eyes are watering so much. Then I'm just gonna tight line really quick. Have to do this because my lashes are so friggin' thin. And then going in with the LA Girl Ultimate Eye Intense Stay Auto Liner. I am gonna line with this brown. This one is in the shade Lasting Brown. Then I'm gonna take the flat definer brush and kind of pull and smoke it out this line. I've done this a couple times in my vlogs when I'm getting ready, so you guys know the draw. God, that makes such a world of difference. Like I look sick on this side with all the shadow and no liner and then like liner. But I only work one eye at a time when I do this because this eyeliner kind of dries out fast, so. You gotta work quickly with it. Both eyes are lined. Then just mascara. If I can find my curler. Oh my god, this this vanity. Yes, you do not want to see it. It's so bad. I cannot see the actual vanity. It's awful. I have definitely really let it get away from me. And some mascara. My lashes are starting to grow back just a little bit now that I'm using grande lash again i know it's gonna be a process it's gonna take three months to like really see good results but they're coming back guys they're trying to make their comeback i'm just powdering down a couple of areas where i get extra shiny like my forehead a little bit on my nose and for sure my chin then i'm gonna go in with this merit beauty this is their highlighting balm in kava draw that right on I'll just blend it out with my fingers. Gives such like a pretty sheen on the skin. Final spray down. It's 
to get everything to set. And while that's setting, I'm gonna go in with Coastline from the Wild Nothing color palette. It's my favorite highlighter for my brow bone and for my inner corners. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Lip Pencil in Natural. And then go in with Stockholm right on top. And we're done for lips. I'm just gonna clean up my hair a little bit and then get dressed and then I think we'll be out of here pretty soon. Please excuse the weird angle, but here is the fit for today's outfit. I'm wearing the Shein black catsuit. We all know. I'm obsessed with catsuits. They're like my favorite trend so far for this year. Then I paired it with my YSL bag. I have on my regular necklaces and rest of my jewelry. For my shoes, I have on my platform Converse's. And then for my jacket, which is probably unnecessary because it's so hot, but I don't care. I just really wanted to wear it. This is the Harley Davidson jacket I thrifted. I think it was a couple years ago at this point. It was definitely before COVID. Wow, that feels like a lifetime ago. That's so crazy. But yeah, I just basically plan on wearing it off the shoulder so I don't die. Or I might just tie it around my waist because I think right now it's almost 80 degrees and then we're heading inland, which is only going to get hotter. I think by the time we get there, it's going to be somewhere in the mid 80s. So yeah, more than likely this will end up tied around my waist. But for now, we can appreciate the look. Sunglasses I'm going to rock today are the Ray-Ban Oversized Clubmasters. But that is the fit and I'm gonna walk Spart and then I think we're gonna head out of here because we need to go pick up some stuff. They're just making hot dogs and burgers today and I don't eat beef. Trevor obviously doesn't eat meat so we're gonna pick up some stuff for us because I don't want to bank on whether or not the hot dogs are gonna be beef or not. My guess is that they will be. So we gotta go find food for us to bring for our dietary restrictions. Another party Another Friday night Another talk that Might turn into a fight Too many faces You only see online Too many cases A fake and by design Wake up every morning Just to go right back to sleep Text everyone you already know You'll never meet Dance alone around your room And get down to the beat Wanna change the world when you want it, a feeling old Being young and engaged in the modern age Only seen on the screen in the next our stage Reaching high, wondering why no one knows Happy Valentine's Day, you guys. If you guys can't tell, I just got done at the gym. I am a sweaty, gross mess. But I want to get a hair tie dent. I still had some like pretty decent waves when I woke up this morning, but I think the ponytail just ruined all of that. Oh well. <laughs> it's fine. We're fine. I'll live. But as I said, it is Valentine's Day. Trevor and I don't really... Like, we celebrate. We have an annual tradition, but we don't really go all out. We don't do, like a big romantic dinner out or anything like that. We do get each other presents, but it's usually just like small treats for each other. I think for him though, this year, instead of buying him his favorite candies, especially because he put his favorite candies on the grocery list for today, I am going to bake Brookies. I know how much he really, really loved those when I made those. So I think that that would be a nice surprise for him. Oh my God, it is so dark. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in a second. And we're back. So, yeah, since he put his favorite candies on the grocery list for today's grocery run, I needed to come up with something else, and Brookies seemed like a really good idea. And then I might get him like a few other little treats here and there, but right now I'm actually on my way to South Coast. I put in a Sephora order, it's all refills. I mean, I'll show you guys what it is, but I need to refill on a lot of products. So I just set that for a pickup order, and then I actually also should go ahead and put in our dinner order. Our annual tradition is somehow <laughs> it ended up, always end up getting Wingstop for takeout. I can't even remember how this started, but we've done this for at least the last four years. We definitely used to go out for Valentine's Day. Like we would try to get reservations and do the whole thing. But I think there was one year where I just told Trevor, I'm like, you know what? I'm craving Wingstop today and I don't want to deal with reservations and crowded restaurants and stuff. And Trevor was like, yeah, actually that sounds really good. So we did that. We enjoyed it. And then the next year we were like, should we just do that again? So yeah, I think we'll do that. Oh, actually. Maybe not, because I just realized I'm over by Doe and Arrow right now. Maybe I'll 
gonna go get him cookies. Well, us cookies. I think, I think that might be the move. That sounds really good. Yeah. If they have chocolate chip in stock, cause I'm sure that they are super busy today. People are probably also getting cookies for their Valentines. So we'll see, you know, if they have any good ones left or anything like that. Another movie, another neon light, another way to forget the life outside. Too many places you only see online. Love yourself, you can't be beat. But honesty is scary, so you're gonna have to leave. Wake up every morning just to go right back to sleep. Text everyone you already know you'll never meet. Dance alone around your room. So I ended up deciding to just take a quick lunch break because I'm starving and I don't think that I was going to make it to waiting until I got home because I still have to run all my other errands. I need to go to Target. I need to go to the grocery store. I need to go to Trader Joe's. So I was like, I might as well just eat now. And I saw this like pokey place I've never tried. So I figured I'd explore something new. And this place is interesting. Normally I do half salad because most places usually use spring mix and then half brown rice. But this place, they only used romaine, but they had an option to do cucumber. And it's just like a bunch of like shredded seasoned cucumbers. So I was like, ooh, that sounds really good. I love cucumber. So give this a shot. Mm. Oh, really good. Yum. But I'm going to eat and run the rest of my errands. I'll probably see you guys when I get home because I'm having so much anxiety filming with this camera out and about. I got so used to having the other camera, which like, I, I don't thrash it. I definitely don't, but I'm not as nervous about dropping it as I am with this one. And also this one is bulkier. So when I go to put it in my purse or something, so a lot of the times like it gets caught on things and I have to be really careful because if I let go too early, it could fall and this camera is just so expensive that I just, I don't <laughs> want to risk it. So I think I'm going to stop knowing with it for right now. I mean, you guys have seen me go to Target and get groceries a million times. So you're not missing anything. So I'll just see you guys when I get home a little bit later. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Two of the things in the box are for me. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, it's your, it's your nickname. My nickname's T-Rex. <laughs> That's your other nickname from me and Spark. <laughs> She's blaming this on you. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> it was in a slot that said Valentine's Day cards for kids. So <laughs> oh, you're just adding on kids. I got a memory game inside. Apparently I have Alzheimer's. <laughs> No, Where it's we're... for kids for their brain development. I know. <laughs> Thank you. 14 years of this. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh huh. Velociraptor. I like how you skipped over the one you couldn't read. <laughs> See, it is for kids. Triceratops. Uh, good job, Trevor. Tyrannosaurus Rex again. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, because it's all the game pieces. Dear Boo Boo. At least that's nicer. <laughs> Dinosaurs were champions in length and height and weight, but you beat every one of them I'm in being really great. Happy Valentine's Day. Love and kisses. Love you very much, even though you are a butthole. <laughs> Love. Foo foo bunny. I mean every word. <laughs> Love you, babe. That was very <laughs> kind of you. And you helped her with this? He did. From afar. This was you? <laughs> Thank you, babe. Ooh, I haven't had recently. I know. Pizza Ooh, piece of candy. Mm hmm So two are for me. Flip it over. I didn't realize I, think I, I gave know it to you upside is. down. Yeah, two are for me. You'll know one of them is for sure for me, and then one of the other chocolate chips is for me. So this is for me. No, the two, I was gonna separate them before you got home, but I got Marshmallow home like on top? this. Okay, those are yours. Thank you, babe. <laughs> You're Very welcome. Kind of you. Got our wing stop. I got fries, and then 
I get half lemon pepper, half garlic parmesan. So good. Trevor's opening up the wine right now. He also got fries. And then he also had Chipotle, which I think he brought to the kitchen. But right now we're trying to figure out what to watch and we're gonna enjoy our little Valentine's Day tradition dinner. Finished dinner, Trevor went to bed. We just ended up watching Ghostbusters. I hadn't seen the new one. It was Ghostbusters Afterlife or something like that. It was pretty good. But I thought we'd end this vlog with just a little haul of what I got from Sephora. These are all refills, but you know that they are my tried and true because this is like the third time at least that I've bought each of these. The first one is the Glow Recipe Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask. I swear by this. It's so good. This one is the only eye cream where I've actually noticed a difference. I also really love the packaging. I think it's just so cute. And then it comes with a little spoon right here. I don't want to lose it, so I'm going to leave it in the little holder. But I love this eye cream. If you're looking for something where you can tell a difference that your eyes are looking more hydrated and nourishing and you want something that's going to be like anti-wrinkle and stuff, this is a good one. Then, talked about in my last vlog, but I got a refill of the Olaplex number three. If you guys do any type of processing to your hair, highly recommend getting this. This really helps to strengthen your hair a lot. And then lastly, I have been needing this refill for a while now, but I got the Amika Soul Food Nourishing Hair Mask. This is like my favorite conditioner. It's just, I always forget to get this, but it's so good. Here is what the texture looks like inside. It's just so thick and hydrating and I really love this if you have processed hair and your hair doesn't feel smooth and shiny anymore definitely try this hair mask out use it as your conditioner you're gonna love it but yeah that's everything that I got from Sephora so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog I'm probably gonna head to bed here soon in a few minutes so I will see you guys in the next one just kidding I forgot to show you guys what Trevor got me for Valentine's Day I already ate the candy because he actually gave me my Valentine's Day stuff a couple days ago he said he just wanted to throw me off so I had already gone this a few days ago but this is really cute it says to Thundercat from your secret admirer. And here's the front of the card. We know Star Wars is my jam. It says you underestimate the power of Valentine's Day. Then he put a little note here, like we're in middle school. Will you do me the honor of being my Valentine? Yes, no, maybe love T-Rex. So super cute Valentine's Day card. All right, now that's it. Good night, guys. Only seen on the screen in the next stage, reaching high.